What's up guys? It's Body Restoration Project uh, with Dr. Michael Coe, Movement IQ Physical Therapy. So today what I want to talk about is shoulder issues. So more specifically, what are certain shoulder issues that you can maybe almost kind of diagnose yourself? So you can't really diagnose things because you didn't go to school or maybe if you did, then you guys can. But um, if you guys um, maybe have shoulder issues, I want to, there's certain things that I'll see, right? Not so much that you have to do certain tests per se, but just physical motions or things you say can give you a good information about, all right, well, how specific can we be about your uh, injury? So we're gonna go about the shoulders. There's three specific ones I wanna talk about. So when I, when I try to diagnose shoulder issues, um, we either look at something we call special tests. They're very tests, very specific to a specific injury. Um, or um, doing things like palpation, touching certain areas and seeing um, if that's irritable in the combination of strength tests and range of motion tests. So one I wanna talk about is, let's say if someone has pain right in the front of the shoulder. All right, I'm gonna use this arm actually. So what if you have pain right in the front of the shoulder? All right, in the front of the shoulder here is this very long tendon that comes from the bicep. So one of the bicep muscle crosses the shoulder joint. The other one just crosses the elbow, all right? So if you had something called biceps tendonitis right here in the front, you should have uh, pain right in the front. And then also if you want to aggravate it to be able to tell you if it's, you know, if it's pissed off at you, what you can do is um, what we call speed test. So speed test looks like this. If you were to, let me show you my hand because let me stand up and do this. If you had your hand open, elbow straight, arm forward a little bit, and then you push against your hand or your wrist and your, this hand pushes upwards, resisted, and you aggravate pain in the front of the shoulder, that's what we call a positive speed test, right? It's indicative of biceps tendonitis. So that's one thing that you can do yourself real quickly to be able to say, hey, all right, is it the biceps tendon that's irritated or not? <coughs> Another one is uh, impingement syndrome. So impingement syndrome is when your rotator cuff is being pinched because of your shoulder blade and the humeral head, which is the top part of this bone here, uh, are pressing up against each other. Uh, and they're pressing up against each other because they're not creating space for that rotator cuff to move freely. Right? So there's something we call impingement zone. Impingement zone is out to the side, we call shoulder abduction, and around 90 degrees, your shoulder pain gets pretty bad right here. Some people, what they'll do is if you were to push past it, it actually opens up that shoulder joint a little bit more and the pain goes away, but it comes back right around 90 degrees. Let's go with 80 to about 110 degrees here. This is what we call the impingement zone. Um, some people you just get to 90 and goes, ah, crap, anything higher just hurts, right? I'm still going to call that a positive impingement sign within that impingement zone. Um, so that's for um, shoulder impingement. Now, there's another one called, um, actually, I can't think of the name right now, but it's one way you can be able to tell um, if the AC joint is uh, affected, right? So if you guys ever heard of a shoulder dislocation and shoulder separation, those are two separate things even though you're using the word shoulder. Shoulder dislocation is when this bone here, the humeral head, pops out and dislocates. Shoulder separation, what I would say is way more common, is when the AC joint creates some space because the ligaments are uh, pulled really hard. So the AC joint is when the clavicle attaches to the end point of this shoulder blade. So that AC joint is actually right up here. Some people, if they sprain really bad, they'll actually have uh, a disarticulation where the, so there's a little separation and then one pops up and so like this this side will be a lot higher than than um, the shoulder blade and we call that a piano key right which just popped up it's pretty disgusting so one way to know if your AC joint has issues is compressing it and then irritating it right and be able to see it's a, that's a positive test that um, these tissues are irritated so one way you do it is bring your arm across your body you bring your arm across your body, that creates compression within that AC joint and oftentimes can cause pain, usually at the top. All right? If you do this <coughs> and you have pain uh, in the front or in the back, I wouldn't say that's an AC joint um, irritation, but that's probably just more generalized tendonitis somewhere or your shoulder's just not moving really well. So if you have those things, those are a little more specific, but if you have generalized shoulder pain, Oftentimes you went to a doctor, they'll tell you you have tendonitis and tell you to go to PT or they give you an injection. So those more gray area um, it, injuries from the shoulder, I usually tend to use, or use um, muscle tests or strength tests or range of motion tests, right? So, and I just go off of, hey, what's normal and how far away are you from normal? So for example, <coughs> 
Um, external rotation, oftentimes it's really irritable when your shoulder's flared up. Uh, if you just have a generalized tendonitis, tendon, uh, tendonitis or irritation, right? So uh, 90 to front here, out here, 90 degrees, if you want to try and go from this position to this position, if you're irritated, chances are you're probably going about right here and it hurts. Another way you can look at it is how well can you go down this way and how badly can you reproduce that pain? Or maybe arm behind the back, or maybe a hand behind, and try to touch your shoulder blades in between through there, right? And that just causes shoulder pain. In general, what I would address, address with there is this, if you're to make sure that just your overall muscle tissues have flexibility, oftentimes the joints will start moving a little bit better. So if you're talking about any of these cause shoulder pain, I would suggest you're better off using a lacrosse ball, you're hitting pec major, upper trap, the back of the shoulder blade, right? So that's where uh, some of the other rotator cuff muscles are in your lats. If you're just address those, I bet you'd make some big changes in terms of your pain and or your range of motion. And if you're real consistent with that, I would say about a couple weeks of doing that on a daily basis, you can make some real big changes and just making improvements on yourself and maybe not having to see a medical professional and you can just almost in a way heal yourself. So you guys, if you have any questions about shoulder issues, uh, maybe a specific issue that you guys are having, you can write on the comments or contact me, then maybe we can do a quick video on it and see, hey, does someone else have that same issue? Uh, and uh, we can go from there, all right? If you have other injuries that you have that you want me to do, maybe do a video on, uh, just comment below, guys. All right, thanks a lot.